Hi everybody, um, really bizarre not being in school at the moment. I hope you're all safe and well. Because we're all stuck inside, I've decided to do some learning lockdown videos to help you with some skills. It might be a terrible idea, but hopefully you'll be able to use them as many times as you like. You can pause them, you can go back and practice, practice, practice. So let's begin. So today we're going to be practicing how to do column subtraction using the exchange method used to be called borrowing when I was in school, but we don't actually borrow anything, we keep the numbers. So we're gonna set up a normal subtraction using column subtraction, like on the previous video. And today we're going to do 32 take away 17 equals. So there's your question. Now we need to set it up so we can do it as a column subtraction. So tens in units, and remember, it's a subtraction, so we need to do it in the order as it appears. So the 32 goes first, followed by the 17. Remember to check, is it an add or a takeaway? Everybody always does adds. Okay, so the next part is we always start in the units. Now, one thing you might notice in the units today, we have two take away seven. Now there's a problem straight away. If you put two fingers and try and take away seven away, you can't do that. You don't have enough fingers. So we've got a problem. We need to get more numbers so we can complete this subtraction. So what do we do? Well, we look over our garden fence. I've drawn our garden fence down the middle and our neighbor is a number three today. And what we need to do is ask our nice number three neighbor, can we have one of his numbers? Luckily, he's a really nice neighbor and he always says yes. So we're going to ask our neighbor really politely, please can we have one? They always say yes, but they will only give you one. So we put the one next to our number and that number two is now a number 12. But because we've taken one away from the three, the three now turns into a two. Now we can complete the unit column. We can do 12, because that one has turned us into a 12. So now we can do 12, subtract or take away seven. Now that we've completed the unit column, we can move over to the tens. Much easier. Two take away one equals one. Okay, so let's try another one. Now we're going to try 30 take away 12. Again, remember to set up your tens and units or tens and ones. And remember, it's a subtraction, so we have to do it in order as it appears. So the 30 will come first. Remember to check what operation it is. It's a takeaway. And then fill in the last number. Once you've drawn your lines, I want you to pause the video and see, can you complete the units column? If you can, why? If you can't, why not? What do you need to do?
This zero is the clue. It's zero, zero take away two. If we have zero fingers, we can't take two away. We have no fingers. So we don't have any numbers to take away. So we need to go to our neighbor. We need to hop over the garden fence and ask our neighbor politely, can we have a number please? Remember, your neighbor will always give you a number, but they only give you one. Remember, we take one from our neighbor in the tens and put it next to our number in the units. So our zero now turns into a 10 and we should be able to complete this subtraction, 10 take away two. See if you can complete the rest on your own. <laughs> 